Radia shares her story of survival and involvement with women's issues around the globe. And Labor Day shopping deals are out there. What you going to grab this weekend? We'll take a peek at what's hot. Oh, what's, what's hot trending for Labor Day. What? Is that renowned or something for like a big shopping no, weekend? No, we're making a big deal out of it. Right. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal till we made a big deal I was about to say, you know, I know there are certain times of the year where shopping is kind of a big thing, well, obviously I mean, right after Thanksgiving. Labor Day deals. You know. See, we have this new producer, Zach Gavin. You can see him uh, on I know Zach Facebook very well. Line. Yeah, and he's just making a big deal out of nothing. So Here's the thing. Here's <laughs> Zach is actually our new old producer. Yeah, he's back. He's back. Zach is back. But see, Zach back. I mean, you know, he's become Dr. Zach now, so you know. I that. know, I know. So he makes me call him that all the time. Oh, yeah. too. This is so boring. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a doctor. I knew him before he was a doctor. I just know that. Let's take a look outside right now. We've got ourselves cloudy day for sure. We're going to be seeing uh, these clouds stick around throughout the day. We'll see some sunshine. and We have seen a few breaks of the clouds and we'll continue to do so. But uh, the general rule is cloudier than than sunnier. How about that? As we go through the afternoon. And we do have a chance for some thunderstorms that could be severe. That's an isolated threat uh, that we have later on this afternoon. Right now it's 79 degrees, dew points at 70. Nothing to brag about there, but it's not hot. Uh, but it is very humid. It's going to be that way over the next couple of days. Southeast wind at around 7, so it's picked up a little bit. Uh, we're not going to see a big wind today, except where we do see the thunderstorms. We'll take a closer look at the track and the timing of these thunderstorms coming up in a few minutes. I love the way you just trailed off there. We'll just take it over. Well, I mean, that's kind of a downer, I know. But, I mean, we've got to, we've got to get through today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And, really, we've got some rain. We could see some heavy rain at times, yeah. you know, in those Three, these three days, but we, we're paying the price. We're going to reap the rewards on Friday and Saturday, two of the best looking days I've seen. In a, a holiday long time. weekend. Yes. Thank you. Well, let's get to this day's daily dish. All you rib lovers out there, this is your big chance to get the best from Germania Manicor oh, food sale. Now, today, remember this today is the last day you can place your order for the full rack of ribs, which will all be available, available to pick up on Saturday, September 5th. The whole thing is a drive through because you just have to do that in the world of virtual activities. So it's a drive through food extravaganza, including, Ron, fried kraut balls, frozen kraut balls, and just think, your derby party this weekend could have a German flair. Yes, it could. What do you pair kraut balls with? Is it a mint julep? Would it pair? No. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably a stout, I would think. You know? <laughs> I think it would be more beer as opposed to, you know. Yeah, the mint julep might be a little or, syrupy or for the kraut ball. Yeah, that's. You know, that's probably not a good combo, though. Uh, yeah, that's good for them, because uh, I'm sure they make a good rack of ribs. I mean, it's not, it, it's a little different, you know, from the, their standard fare for Germania Manicor. And, of course, I, I miss uh, Volksfest, of course. Of course, it didn't Well, and happen. they're trying to catch up, as all organizations are. So, and you, they've got a great way to drive through right. there, through the gardens. So you know, we do, we do have a trophy. We, we did win the broad toss a few did years ago. the broad toss. A few years ago it with our old buddy. It wasn't a crowd ball toss. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't a crowd ball. It was the broad toss. Had to wear an apron and catch the brats. You, know, you it was did good, too. Okay. We, we did really well. Got a trophy. So well, they, on it. That's well, bring it out and polish it off. I They've should. been trying to compete with Amazon for years, and now they're stepping it up a notch. Walmart announced this morning a new subscription service called Walmart Plus. Really? With this new service, mm. you will get free delivery on your orders, $35 or more. And according to Walmart, you'll have the option of same-day delivery on more than 160,000. I feel like I'm doing a commercial. That's a 160,000 items from groceries to electronics and toys. Walmart Plus will also offer a scan and go option on your phone so you won't even have to wait in the checkout line when you visit the store in person. It's scheduled to launch on September 15th. They're sort of the Instacart, Amazon, Instant, a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I tell you what, you know, that's pretty, it's, they said on orders more than $35. That's every time I step into Walmart. And that, that's kind of the thing. I really think that's the key. Walmart's success is the fact that you go in there for one thing, you end up getting ten things, you know? But I do that. Because there's every so many things you have offered to you. I right? do that at CVS and Schnucks well, and <laughs> Target and Fresh Market, in, you know, wherever I go. Yeah, pretty much anywhere I'm going to get about $35, it seems like, when I step inside a market. But, you know. When I check out there, we say, did you find everything you were looking for? Uh, can you tell? I found this and a lot more. Yeah, they do ask that. I, have, has there ever been a time you say, no, no, there's not Never. this? Really? <laughs> no, I've no, always I found what I was looking for. Well, I've replaced it. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, not to be else. outdone, is Amazon it? is one step closer uh, to launching your favorite Ron drone delivery service no in the U.S. The FAA happen. gave the company mm. an air carrier certificate just a couple of days ago. Wow. Ron is a must-have before any company can begin drone deliveries. Mm. Thank heaven. Uh, Amazon says it'll begin testing deliveries in some areas, yeah, but they away. haven't said where or when those tests will begin. No, because they're keeping it a secret. I know you're excited about because this. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here comes my fine china. They're, they're dropping it down at my door. Dropping it at my doorstep? Are you kidding me? Well, maybe so, oh, there seriously. are certain things that can. That I'm can telling you what, on. they're going to go over some places and somebody's going to shoot it down thinking it's some kind of spy satellite or something. I, good luck. Good luck to, to Amazon along those lines. We'll see how it goes. I'm just, to say the least, skeptical that that is going to work well. I really am Oh, skeptical. I'm with you all the way, but it's um, just so much fun to bring it up and let you carry on about it. <laughs> I, just, I mean, you know, right now, Amazon, I mean, what Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world. Amazon, I was always saying, who's going to be the first to take over the world? Will it be Walmart or will it be Amazon? I think Amazon's doing it. I think they've got, oh, it's I like a two-horse race and they're kind of close. I guess I Apple's so up there, too. too. Wow, and Apple's uh, up there is, as well. This is going to put somebody else in the lead. I just see this being a, it's a major... It's neck and neck. It's neck and neck. Uh, well, hashtag and, fail. And speaking it. of rich people, you can add Elon oh, Musk's yeah. list of accomplishments to that. Now, according to Bloomberg, the Tesla CEO is now the third richest person in the world. Yeah. Are you ready for it? Are you sitting down? His net worth is now valued at $150 billion. He slipped a little past uh, CEO Mark Zuckerberg in the, uh, to land in third spot. Now, only Jeff Bezos of Amazon and Microsoft's Bill Gates are worth more than Musk. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. That's not surprising. Isn't Tesla like one of only three companies in the world that are trillion dollar companies? I that, think it's we, Apple, we I think in, it's Tesla, and I dish. think it's Amazon. We yeah. did. We, we okay. have good information for you in the dish. <laughs> <laughs>